Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm from Mooresville, Indiana, and I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want to thank Franciscan Health and my wonderful providers for saving my life and um, taking care of me on my journey. I'm married with three beautiful children, um, lived in Mooresville my entire life. Um, family also lived there as well growing up. And I work in the dental field, been in the dental field about 20 years, and currently I work from home. So 2019 kind of got away from me and I realized, oh shoot, like I'm behind on my mammogram. So I scheduled it for February of 2020 to get back on schedule and just kind of scheduled it, went to the appointment, blew it off as, as we do. And I got a call to come back and do like a diagnostic mammogram and thought, okay, just like 2018, here we go again. And then I got a call that I need to come back and do a biopsy. And I was like, okay. Well, during the biopsy, I kind of felt like something was up by the way the um, radiologist was, not his demeanor, but just I felt a little like something was going on. And then um, that was March 18th. And then March 23rd, I got a call from the nurse navigator letting me know that I did have breast cancer and I needed to see um, a breast surgeon. So she got me an appointment that same week on um, that following Thursday and I got to meet Dr. Rager. But in the meantime, I had done my own research. So I kind of knew, <laughs> I'm a planner, <laughs> kind of knew um, what direction I was gonna go and I knew right then I wanted to do a double mastectomy um, if I could omit going through this journey again, then that was my plan. So with my journey, um, I have three children at home. At the time they were 18, 16, and 12. And I told my 18 year old that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And she said, mom, are you gonna die? And I was like, no, like, what are you talking about? And she's like, would you tell me? And I was like, yeah. I was like, sweetheart, we're all gonna die at some point. I got this. So at that moment, I knew that I had to remain positive on this journey because I had to be positive for my children. So my entire outlook was to stay positive and then my children had no reason to worry. I think a lot of people were scared um, when they found out they just didn't know how to take it. And then they were also taken back by me because I was so positive. And it's like, okay, I'm scared for her, but she's happy. So there was, <laughs> I think some people struggled with that, but, but no, I just tried to focus on being positive and, you know, we'll get through this. I'll get through this. I've got this. So, and I try to, you know, encourage others. And um, I just knew that even like with Francisca and I had resources I needed if I had any concerns as well, so. As a breast cancer survivor, I would highly encourage people to, women, to get your annual mammogram. I know with COVID and things that are gone on that people have put that off or felt like that they couldn't go do it, but I encourage you to get it scheduled. It's a very simple process and um, it could literally save your life and it did for me.